time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and you guys may have just watched my last vlog, which was cleaning out my garage and dehoarding it. It's actually looking really, really good. The problem is now I have to seal the floor because it's got a raw concrete floor in it and moisture can come up through there and I basically need to seal it all off. So I went and got some acid stuff to do the floor and I gotta wash it but first I gotta drag everything else out of here. And a lot of you guys seem like you really liked the vlog so here we go again. Now I have a crack that runs across the concrete in my garage that I was gonna fix but then I realized you gotta chisel a bunch out to put new cement in there and fix it. It's just such a small crack. I think I'm just gonna try to fill it with paint. How much you wanna bet that decision comes back to bite me in the ass later on? Well, I managed to move my 50 gallon uh, water reserve from there to there. So it's technically outside of the garage and I can access the floor. I was actually a little surprised I was able to move that with 50 gallons of water in it. Briefcase. Hey guys, look, uh, Jason AKA Zachary came to help me uh, seal my floor. Hi. Yeah, so as you guys can see, Everything's actually clear of the floor. Well, pretty much. Am I done Anyways, yet? no, you're not done by a long shot. I'm not done yet. <laughs> you, you, you guys were right. I do, I do need the help of friends to do this because I'm, I'm too. I don't know what's the word, fat to do it myself. But it's okay. That's why you have friends. All right. Well, next step is we got to etch it using this very, very dangerous compound that says phosphoric on it, which sounds really, really bad, like what you'd melt bones in. So we're going to be smart and go to the hardware store and get some respirators because otherwise you guys will just leave endless comments down below about how I'm killing myself and blah 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 and if it isn't food it's phosphoric acid it's it's always something. That is some true value. It's true value. True. Which is ironic because I've never gotten a good deal here. All right so in the interest of safety we went and got a really expensive respirator that says that it handles cleaning brick and with muriatic acid it's phosphoric muriatic it's the same thing right I'm sure everybody out there will agree. And I got some awesome chemical gloves. Yeah, just like Bill and I uses. So hopefully this will protect me. And no, I'm not putting long pants on. I'm still gonna be wearing shorts. So uh, my legs might get a little toasty. It's starting to turn into a tutorial on how to paint your floor. But uh, as you can see, we gotta lay down some plastic on the walls because we have to get in here with a garden hose and spray water everywhere. And we don't wanna get the drywall all wet because then it just turns to mush. Okay, so we've got the 55 gallon drum of lube. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> Alright, so we're all masked off. Everything on the walls is covered now, so we're acid isn't gonna like eat through the walls of my house. In theory. Alright, well, let, let's do this. I ain't getting any younger. Assemble the mask, assemble the mask, dun dun dun, assemble the mask, assemble the mask. I, I really want to know why you have a 55 gallon drum of lube. That's for me to know and for you to find out. Uh-oh. Remember, you gotta make that cover the whole uh, garage. All right, first patch is down. Let's do it again. This is it, final batch. I was such a dumbass, I just stepped in here without the respirator. And my, my mouth is burning. All right, it's been, oh God, this reeks. It's been 10 minutes, time to go rinse it out. Actually, as long as the plastic doesn't fall down, you could actually use the plastic to funnel the water to the edge. Yep. Okay, <laughs> All right, so I finished rinsing all of the acid solution, well, most of it anyways, off the concrete here. So we're getting close. Now I gotta let it dry before I paint it. All right, well now we got a problem. I rinsed the whole floor, all the acid's gone, but it's not drying fast enough. So I'm gonna try this little leaf blower here. <laughs> Okay, so the leaf blower helped a little bit, but uh, I need to accelerate this process. All right guys, so here's my solution. There's three Bitcoin miners. Those are Ant Miner S5s. And uh, combined, they're gonna use, uh, they're about 600 watts each, so we're using about 1800 watts of power, which is about the max that outlet can handle. So that should dry this floor out in the next couple of hours because it'll make this room super hot. And then I should be able to come out here and start painting. Well, as you can see, the Bitcoin mine did a stellar job of drying the concrete. I mean, it's bone dry and the surface feels good. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Okay, so I have to apply two coats of this one part epoxy. So the first coat I have here, the can has normal written on it. And that's because it's just regular epoxy. And then I have another can that has like a gridding agent for traction mixed into it. So we're going to put this one down, let it dry for 24 hours, and then come coat it with the other one. Well, guys, I didn't want to risk getting one of my Barnacles Nerdgasm shirts dirty, so I decided to put on my Pimp My Setup shirt. Because, I mean, that's about all the shirt's good for is painting. Right, Matt?
Well, it looks like I got the first coat complete, so now I gotta wait another 24 hours to put on the second coat, and then I should be able to call this project done. Well, at least sealing the floor. Got the old Bitcoin miners running again to help cure the garage floor. Well, a bunch of you guys were complaining about the giant crack in my floor, so I think I'm gonna do something about that. Giving in to that pure pressure. I'm just gonna try and fill it in with some silicone caulk because uh, it's pretty good stuff. It's expanding, you can paint it, it's waterproof, it stretches, so if the crack gets any bigger, hopefully it'll conform to it. But uh, only one way to find out. Alright, I sealed up the crack using silicone, uh, silicone caulk, and I'll tell you right now that stuff is absolutely horrible. Do not get it on your skin. It is so hard to get off. I also found a bunch of new holes I didn't notice before. Uh, looks like somebody had screwed something down at one point, which is weird because I'm the original owner of this house. But uh, I went ahead and filled in all those little puncture holes with silicone also. And yeah, it looks messy and there's a lot of residue, but I still have to put one whole new coat on this tomorrow. So the new coat I put on should cover this all up you know fingers crossed now in hindsight it would have been better for me to fill all those cracks before I even put the first coat on uh, but honestly I didn't think it was gonna matter since I was carpeting in here but so many of you guys came at me on Instagram and Twitter saying seal the crack seal the crack I decided ah what the hell so hopefully it makes a difference All right, so today I'm adding one more coat of paint to the floor, and I went ahead and added this. This is a floor finish additive that I stir into the paint, and hopefully it'll give me a grippier surface when I'm done painting. Plus, I gotta cover up the crack I sealed last night and the couple of holes. Shoulda did those all in the first place. I know hindsight's just kind of a bitch like that, but it's still getting done. Time to clean the tools. Well guys, I just went and saw Mad Max Fury Road while I was waiting for my floor paint job to cure here. And a uh, great movie, you guys should see it. There's like no dialogue, but if you just wanna see constant action, it's badass. But uh, I really hate admitting when I'm wrong and when a bunch of you are right when you tell me I'm wrong. But uh, you, got, you guys that told me I was wrong are gonna get your dessert today because uh, yeah. I just had to peel up all the paint that was over the silicone that I used to fill the crack. Now in hindsight, I should have just not fill, filled the crack. So I'm gonna blame you guys just a little for telling me to fill the crack. I'm just kidding, I'm not blaming you guys at all. The crack needs to be filled. But uh, obviously silicone and epoxy based paints don't mix. But if you think about it, silicone is what they use on anything they don't want stuff to stick to. So it's kind of just a moronic thing on my part to think that it would stick. So. Now I get to take a little knife like I've already been doing here for a while but I figured I'd show you guys and scrape up all the old paint just where the silicone was. So right over here and right over here and now I have to use a piece of sandpaper and a block to get the rest of the silicone up. Otherwise it's not going to stick again and I'm going to be back to ground zero. So I'm just glad that I didn't use silicone all over the entire floor because that would have been a nightmarish disaster. So this project is turning into a little bit more than I wanted but you know what I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Hey, I found something that should speed this up a little. Oh yeah. All right, so I used a wire brush uh, to clean out some of these guys and get the silicone out of there, but I just realized silicone is hardcore. So my neighbor Chris, that guy right there, just brought over this beastly thing. It's a Milwaukee angle grinder. And right now I'm using it to open up the crack a little bit so I can fill it with something called hydraulic cement which is what I should have used in the frickin first place so this was an expensive mistake and all you guys can make fun of me in the comments and I'm probably gonna make a dozen more mistakes so stay tuned always wear your safety glasses All right, so now that I ground out the crack, I'm using this uh, hydraulic cement stuff, which is awesome, by the way. I should have used it in the beginning. You can see over here, it just starts as a liquid, and it, and it starts to harden immediately and expand. So I just filled the crack, 
And it says you gotta keep it wet, but it's super quick set. It'll be set in 45 minutes so I can come out here and sand off the excess. But uh, this was even easier than putting caulk in there. I'm such a goddamn noob sometimes. Isn't that right, Chris? Yep. Okay, it's been about an hour, so I did some cleanup, as you guys can see. And now the crack is filled in with cement. That's how I should have done it in the beginning. Well guys, today I learned something interesting, and that is that lazy people often work the hardest. Ironic, isn't it? Having to redo all this to cement that crack was a massive undertaking. It nearly took me all day to complete after finding the initial mistake. So had I just started off by sealing it with that concrete stuff and grinding it out, I wouldn't have literally spent my entire day undoing everything I did yesterday just to fix this. But I'm glad I'm doing it right because had I finished the whole job and put the carpet in and then had to deal with this later, that would have been even more of a nightmare. But hey, what fun would it be watching a YouTube video where I don't suffer a little? All right, well, I just woke up. It is hot in the garage because I had the Bitcoin miners running all night curing the cement. And it looks good. Everything appears to look really good. The concrete's cured and the crack's filled. I think it turned out great. Now, you can still feel the crack a little bit because um, it receded down just a little bit in there. But... Uh, it's not enough to concern me. I'm just going to go ahead and paint over it. Well, I think it's safe to say that I am done with the floor. So everything looks really, really great. The cracks nearly invisible and everything's sealed up. So now I can put some carpet in here and I can put some shelves in. Hey, if you guys enjoy these types of vlogs, let me know down in the comments and also hit that like button. It really helps a lot. I'm glad this project is uh, really taking shape now because it's, it's taken a while longer than I thought. And I hope to start moving my 3D printers in here and start turning this into an active maker space and setting up all my retro gaming consoles um, so that I can do that. And don't worry guys, if you guys like this vlog, let me know and I'll keep making these on the progress here. And I'm also gonna start getting back to my regular videos too, which are my unboxing and review videos and uh, also get some Codegasm and Jerry rigged over the next couple of weeks, uh, along with quite a few other things. I've actually gotten pretty backed up on just about everything at this point, but I'm just gonna keep on moving forward with you guys. Uh, I've been having a great time, and uh, without your guys' support, I wouldn't be able to do this. So I really appreciate it. All right, guys, till next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself. <laughs>